Hey guys, TM here. Um, we're going to talk about that's a pretty big topic. Uh, this one in uh, the current bodybuilding community, which is the um, suggesting, which seems to be very rampant today, especially of uh, uh, Telesmeren and um, uh, Nebvivo. Uh, I can't. What, like, why can't I say that word? Um, a or B's and uh, beta blockers. Okay. Um, very rampant today in bodybuilding community. And I think it's suggested due to people not doing their research as in depth and being uninformed or as um, not as in depth knowledge wise on, um, um, I don't want to say uh, like um, how the body or certain systems work in, in the body and especially in relation to this. I think these drugs just got, got suggested because they realize, oh, you know, using steroids, we're going, you know, this absolutely does help certain uh, aspects of um, uh, steroid use or abuse. Um, yeah, basically, what I'm what I'm trying to get in this video is that uh, I don't like these drugs. These drugs are uh, horrible to me. Uh, they have bad side effects and things that are actually hurting your uh, bodybuilding uh, progress. When, and the fact that there is items out there that work um, better without the side effects and um, accomplish it in a more natural way. So um, besides, uh, no, it depends on which ARBs or, or, or better blockers are suggested. They all have different side effects effects uh, uh whatever uh sorry guys again i haven't I, like the rest of the videos i'm going to be posting i haven't done videos in a while so i'm kind of mumble jumbling and i didn't do bullet points so kind of all over the place so ho hopefully this is easy to follow um yeah so depending on uh, you know which uh and or better blocker and or a or b whatever um <clears throat> we so the whole host of side effects from these drugs, whether it's um, uh, acidosis, uh, muscle wasting, um, or in inhibiting mTOR, which I just did my uh, metformin video, which will probably post it at the same time. And we know the effects of inhibiting mTOR is, um, like we see with the metformin study um, and with other whatever, because, you know, how essentially how mTOR works, it is the main, it is our mechanism for uh, cell profiliation, right? So... Anything that inhibits mTOR is inhibiting uh, uh, muscle growth. So as we've seen, uh, like with uh, um, items that inhibit mTOR, like met metformin and the metformin studies where they had uh, two groups and they both exercised, the group on metformin saw absolutely zero muscle growth, zero muscle gain. So um, yeah, using these items while bodybuilding, yes, you are helping certain areas, but you are completely hurting your progress severely all meanwhile, you could be having those same beneficial effects and or better with other with other items that don't do that. So um, the reason uh, some of these drugs are suggested is for the uh, benefits on uh, LVH, kidneys, um, and certain areas like that. If anybody had an understanding of why LVH, why the kidney damage, and why, sorry, the kidney damages can be caused from multiple different um, uh, drugs that we use, um, you know, like uh, GH water retention and stuff like that, not not just gear gear related. But the main reason these drugs are suggested for the gear related side effects um, on LVH, uh, kidney disease, etc., is um, due to mainly one mechanism only. And that main one mechanism is the exact same mechanism how uh, ARBs, beta blockers, etc., are, are, are uh, benefiting us. And, you know, it's very simple. You, when you quickly um, search on on how these drugs um, help, um, whether it's uh, kidney damage or, or heart damage and so on, um, essentially the, the the main route that it is benefiting is um, the RAS uh, slash you know aldosterone uh, pathway. Why are steroids causing these effects? That that is first where where we want to look at it. Essentially, why steroids cause almost well dep depends on the steroid too, but the the main effect of steroids causing uh, damage and LVH as well. Um, it, very simple, easy Google search. You can Google search um, the mechanism of any of these, whatever. Ho hopefully, I added this in post studies. But um, so steroids will increase uh, increase calcium uptake, 
and then when you have increased calcium uptake, this also they are also increasing uh, your CA2 levels. So CA2 levels is literally the cause of LVH. It is literally the cause of uh, cell death in general. So this is why you even see testosterone cause uh, brain cell death, why it causes uh, kidney cell death. Basically, all the, the dangerous effects we're getting um, from steroids is from calcium slash uh, the CA2 increase. Um, so this is the same with heart disease. And this is why in the heart disease studies, they showed that um, uh, those with high cholesterol did, were not at a high, higher risk for um, heart disease. It was those with high cholesterol and high, high calcium. The high cholesterol is there because it, cholesterol makes up every single cell in your body. It is, the, the healing, it is healing everything, essentially. That's what it's there to do. It's there to heal and, and create new cells. So when the cholesterol is there in your arteries trying to help um, heal your arteries, it is those with the high cholesterol, uh, with the high calcium that is being embedded with it, essentially creating uh, uh, stiff arteries and uh, heart disease. Um, and this is why um, the items I'm about to suggest um, are literally proven to not just prevent, but actually reverse these effects. So where the ARBs, bed blockers, whatever, only do so much good and not even that much good as like very minimal uh, best in um, certain of these circumstances. And this is why people with heart disease and, um, or, you know, whatever issue it's being used for see minimal benefit f from these drugs, essentially. Um, the same mechanisms that they are working and working at poorly and why ca causing uh, many other uh, uh, deteriorating side effects, you could literally just increase your um, your K, K2 content and your magnesium and or depending and get um, exact same benefits, none of the negatives and um, immensely more benefits than they could ever cause. So example with... Um, K2, uh, K2 specifically, um, and which has been talked about, you know, this is K2 is talked about all the time in bodybuilding, but I can almost guarantee you won't find uh, anybody talking about K2 before me, like well over 10 plus years ago when um, I started becoming famous for my natural um, recommendations for health and bodybuilding. Um, and people have, it's funny, I hate when I see people talk about K2, like I see people who are, um, <clears throat> whether we're, they're doctors, and like a lot, you know, the doctors that are getting into the bodybuilding movement, which don't actually know jack shit about um, anabolics, and they know as much as most other people, because, you know, that's not what, they're, they're not, re researchers are the ones who know the most. Anyways, where I'm going about this, I always see people say the same thing over about K2, they don't really have a clue what they're talking about, how K2 directs calcium, where it needs to go. Uh, K2, K2 is actually uh, also, nobody talks about this because they don't really know the mechanism, it's actually breaking down and destroying uh, the calcium as well. It's not just directing where it needs to go. Um, <clears throat> it is actually breaking down calcium and hardened um, uh, and, and hardened in the tissues. Um, so calcium is not just proven to prevent um, heart disease. It, there's a study that is funny, is some... People trying to recently, sorry, I'm going off topic here, some of guys. People trying to refute that, uh, refute K2 studies, which is low dose K2, with um, an access dose of vitamin D. So this study is the most stupidest study, study ever because one, uh, vitamin D will actually deplete vitamin K. So one, not only are you taking an insane amount of vitamin D in the study, depleting the vitamin K. Um, but it's also prevents its effects from, so you need vitamin D and vitamin D obviously very healthy, but an access is interfering with how K, uh, vitamin K works. Um, so not only is the vitamin K jacking up, uh, calcium uptake even, even further and jacking up calcium in the blood picture, like anything you need to balance, you know what I mean? You have access sodium you need, uh, to match it with a certain amount of potassium. When you go and take a, a, an ex, insane excessive amounts of vitamin D, you're interfering with how it works. You're jacking up the calcium. F so you're depleting it. You're interfering with how it works. And then you're jacking up the calcium even further, giving it a much bigger job to do. And just like with anything, the more calcium in the blood, the more calcium uptake, the more K2, K, K you need. And you're taking more vitamin D, depleting it and so on, you're literally preventing all of its benefits. And this is why studies on K2, uh, K2 and even K solo have shown that, again, like I said, it not only prevented heart disease and uh, LVH, it is actually shown to reverse heart disease and LVH. And um, there's a lot of neat studies that um, 
you could find that aren't um, uh, necessary uh, in America. Like there's one really good uh, Japanese study with K2 at a very, very me uh, mega dose uh, reversing heart disease as well. So anybody looking for studies, look for um, uh, outside, you know, most people that follow me, I think are American. Anyways, um, and um, on the other side of the world, <laughs> look, for, look for these studies. Um, so yeah. And it's not even um, insane how it works. It, it's literally, um, where am I going with this? If it, you know, if you do a little bit of research on uh, how K, uh, vitamin K works, how um, increased um, intracellular levels of calcium, how how that you know causes the effects that it's causing, and how these two items um, basically reverse that, um, cause the C to uh, the um, intracell intracellular calcium shift back to the extracellular space, and you see exactly how these mechanisms work and why it's silly to attack it with, uh, you know, ARBs, beta blockers, whatever. And, uh, in a mechanism and route that it doesn't even fix it, but instead tries to fix it by doing certain things like affecting the RAS system or inhibiting adulterone when you really should be affecting the root cause and why these drugs work very shitty, essentially. Um, I think I mostly explained that fully. I'm trying to th kind of backtrack in my head. So I should have wrote a bullet points like you said, guys. I'm sorry about that. Um, so yeah, magnesium. I think I said K2 and magnesium. Maybe I didn't mention magnesium yet. I'm pretty sure I did. Magnesium is also important here, guys, and why it's shown to help uh, prevent heart disease. It's more of a lesser play player uh, of, of the role here of what we're doing, but it is still just as important especially most people are lacking magnesium and have a very rich calcium diet which depletes magnesium and interferes it with working when it's when calcium is in access also vitamin d why i really don't like vitamin d vitamin d depletes magnesium too because vitamin d is needed to um uh to be utilized it uses up your magnesium so people taking excess magnesium uh, vitamin d on on steroids really they should just be getting the required amount of sun they need and the very minimum of vitamin d from supplements and regardless if you're taking vitamin d supplements you need to make sure your vitamin K and magnesium is adequate because it depletes both. Vitamin D also depletes potassium. Sorry guys, I'm going kind of off topic here, but vitamin D can make things immensely worse. And that's why there are studies showing that on whether it's higher milk intake and or uh, excess vitamin D is shown to increase heart uh, heart disease risk. Um, going off topic here. Anyway, guys, um, vitamin K2 and uh, magnesium is what is needed to... Um, shift the ca2 levels it's what's needed to uh reverse heart disease not just prevent reverse it's what's also trying to prevent and reverse uh the kidney damage um cell death in general like the like i said uh brain cell death from testosterone and any a's all of these side effects are caused from the increased ca2 level so you can prov not just prevent but reverse lvh and this is proven in studies so everybody worried about heart heart hypertrophy and thinking it's um uh permanent it is not it's been shown to be reversible um same with uh the heart disease and stuff like that so um yeah you using adequate levels of well sorry adequate levels for prevention but if you have some form of a uh, heart disease forming like a high high uh, uh calcium score if you had the calcium score test done you want a much higher level of these nutrients for uh, that which which they use in studies to reverse it so uh yeah if you're worried about the side effects that uh you know better blocks or whatever uh help uh help prevent you are going to get an immensely better job and at reversing these by taking K2 and magnesium and you're going to not have any of the side effects and the severely shitty side effect as a bodybuilder of inhibiting mTOR, which completely destroys your gains. So again, I do not know why these drugs, well, I do know why these drugs suggest that people saw the benefits of them, didn't do much more research to realize all the side effects of them and how they uh, destroy uh, your gains, which is the last thing you want as a bodybuilder. Why are you taking steroids and spending all your time in the gym and then try and take something to inhibit side effects or prevent and then also inhibit your gains? You might as well just not do the steroids and work out at all. Um, so yeah, K2 Magnesium. I actually wrote a very in-depth heart article. Um, it's on my website, tan.com. I think I post it on my Facebook page, Chan the Talking Camel. Um, it might be up there, but I wrote about the benefits of K2 and the danger of calcium, vitamin D, and so on. Um, I wrote it very in-depth, and I posted the studies and stuff um, on there. Uh, most of the studies, I think, are on my article there. Um, yeah, so I, I, think it, I think it basically summed this up for you guys. Um, 
K2 and magnesium are is what is going to prevent the main prevent and reverse the main mechanism of why steroids cause all those side effects that we just discussed on heart, kidney, LVH, whatever. And that um, the typical ju- drugs suggested like Telsamaritan and stuff like that is, they're horrible. Side effects, preventing muscle gains and not as good benefits as K2 and magnesium. It literally makes no sense why people are using them and why they're suggesting them. And it's because they didn't do the research properly. And um, yeah, I wouldn't use these. Um, use what works better um yeah that's it guys um <clears throat> thanks for watching uh thanks for following thanks for my supporters on my forum my website my facebook group my supporters here you guys on youtube my subscribers and um remember it helps me immensely when you uh share my uh share my content and um that's what helped me grow the most and uh get the information out there and yeah, it just helps my channel grow. And I really appreciate when you guys share. Really appreciate when you guys leave the words of encouragement and just comments and interacting. Um, yeah, I appreciate you guys for just following. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Once again, one of my videos. Um, take care, guys.